green monster boxes out. That must mean it's time for another unboxing. Silver Steeler here. It's been a little while since I've bought some American Silver Eagles. Well, I finally started buying again now that the price has slipped from $19 to around $17 again. I really don't like pay paying more than $20 for an American Silver Eagle. So let's get a quick update here. Rule number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 5. So, also, during the last few weeks, I picked up a few more American Silver Eagles off my LCS. He had owed me one as well. If you remember those five rolls I got, he had owed me one. There's a 94. It's got some toning going on there. By the way, I've looked through all the American Silver Eagles at the Mintages Mount. And of course, the 96 is considered king in the BU. Um, but the 94 is a very, is a second or close to second with a couple other coins. But these I've been seeing at least at At Max Jam Bullion are selling for like 44, 45 bucks right now. So I like it whenever I get a 96, of course. But a 94 is not half bad as well. So let's see the dates on these others. Because I always, as some are aware, pick up some very random date eagles from him. Another 94. So my second favorite bullion coin to get is 94. A 93. And the price really, I looked at those, drops down significantly. Here we have a, what is that, 93 again, another 93. A 94, another 94. So I knew I had four out of those six for 94, so not sure what date this is going to be. It should be, what? 94. 94. There it is. A 94. So that was nice to get four 94s. So there's six eagles that I picked up off from my LCS. And then, this one night while at work, hell of a spare time, decided, hey, why not? Oops, sorry. I mean to bump you. Make sure there's no packing slip in there. There is, so I'll just take that out. I decided to order five from SD Bullion. Or SD Bearings, as it says on the label. To fool everyone as they come out. Time to use a knife a little bit more. These should be 2019s. You scared the cat. Good. He's getting ready to go up the cat tree and make a whole bunch of noise. Man, these things could have fallen from a plane and they've been all right. They should be 2019s. Oh, they look beautiful. They really do. And they are. It's a 2019. We don't have a lot of 2019s. Yeah, we do. We got a full tube in there. That's not a lot. And a lot. couple. Well, <laughs> at least one of those 11 tubes in the background are full of them. Pretty, pretty. I just sometimes my LCS only has enough 
to buy and I want to buy some more. So occasionally I have to go somewhere else. I got these under $20 a piece, right about at $20. So like I said, I don't like paying over $20 for an American Silver Eagle. Unless, of course, it's one of the specialty ones. But. So, not a huge unboxing. Just five, but I picked up six from my LCS. So, I usually do a video when I get a full tube. I have not, but it had been such a while since I've done anything on my monster box that I'm four eagles away from completing my 12th tube. Four way. It's getting a lot closer. And of course, I can't help but show every now and then these 96s that I got. So really, I do have another nine sitting there. So I'm actually getting darn near close to the halfway. I mean, it's within striking distance of just a simple little buy now and i probably am not going to give an update again in on my monster box until i get to roll number 13. so whoa wait one second that ain't happening there's no way in the world i'm going to sit here and be four short of a full tube of my american silver eagles which would bring the total to 12. i can't do that so i went placed an order with that max had to get that Milan Leve type five coin. And to complete the order to get free shipping, I had to do something. So why not pluck off those American Silver Eagles? I had to only order three because I made another stop to my LCS. At uh, that time where he actually had four American Silver Eagles, the problem was two of them were proofs. And I didn't feel like taking them out and adding them to the tube. And one was in 1996. So the only one I really got him, got off him that day was in 1992. So that made it down to three that I needed to complete that tube. And then there was the 1996. As many know, I've got nine of these in great condition. I had 10, I gave one away. And I got nine one night on my midnight run. They sold them to me for 30 bucks a piece. So I don't count that towards my monster box just because they're 96s and they're in slabs. They haven't been graded, but I keep them well protected. And here's another 96 to bring that number back up to 10. I've got a scratcher, one that I actually do have in a tube, but the 10 I've got are in pretty decent condition. That one he sold me, to me for $40. So, I needed three more. Got them from Matt Max. And believe it or not, I couldn't believe it. I've ordered all kinds of eagles from many different places, and they actually gave me three different dates when I ordered the random years. So here's the 2017. And then we got a 2016. Very nice. I just couldn't believe they gave me actually three different dates. That's never happened. Usually any company that I get them off of, they, uh, they're all the same date. And the 2007. It just shocked the heck out of me. And so... As many of my rolls of ASEs that are in there are many different random Yates 
dates because of that midnight run, I've got another roll that's very, very random, and I just love it. All right, so there's roll number 12. Let's, uh, let's send it back to me. There you go. Getting all so close. Just thought I'd let everyone know I'm back to buying a few American Silver Eagles every now and then. Uh, I've given myself two years to complete this monster box. It started in 2019, the beginning of the year. And I'm about halfway coming towards the end of the year. And that's about where I want to be at. So hopefully by the end of 2020, I got this darn thing filled. Well, going to bring this one to a close. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. Bye, everyone.